Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Starting today and for the next 10 videos, we'll deal with the problems having to do with exponents. The very first problem is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are given two quantities in the two columns, column A and column B, and our job is to figure out which column is bigger or if they happen to be equal. That's what it is. 9 raised to 5 times 4 raised to 6 versus 4 times 36 raised to 5. Why don't you pause the video, solve the problem yourself, and then compare your work against the work that we'll do together in a few seconds time. Let's do it right now. Pause the video and do it yourself. All right. This problem, as you see there, I hope that I hope that you were able to tell immediately that if this problem, if it does appear something like this on the exam, it will appear, it will qualify as an easy problem. It's a very straightforward, simple problem. All we have to do is this: nine times nine raised to five times four raised to six. Four raised to six can be written as four raised to five times four. And now we can combine these two, which is same as nine times four raised to 5 because this is raised to 5 and this 9 is raised to 5 and 4 is raised to 5 which is same as 9 times 4 raised to 5 times 4. This 4 just comes down and 9 times 4 is just 36 so it's 36 raised to 5 times 4 which is the exact same quantity as we see here. So the answer here is C. Question was which column is bigger? The answer is neither column is bigger. They are both equal. Answer is not A or B. Answer is C. They are both equal. Let's do one more, shall we? You want to do one more? Let's do one more. Again, as soon as I put the problem on the blackboard, I want you to pause the video and do it yourself. Here's the next one. Same exact scenario. Column A, column B. In the first column, in the first column we have 3 raised to 5 times 7 raised to 6 versus 7 times 21 raised to 5. Go ahead, do it yourself, and then we'll do it together in, in a few seconds time. As I always remind you, you must pause the video immediately as soon as I set up the problem on the blackboard without my having to remind you. Pause the video, do it yourself. After you've finished doing the problem yourself, resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I do, to, do together. That way you will get more out of it. This problem that you see on the blackboard is no different than the one we just finished. It's the exact same concept, same exact technique, same exact logic. 3 raised to 5 is simply 3 raised to 5 and 7 raised to 6. 7 raised to 6 can be written as 7 raised to 5 times 7. Now we have 3 times 7 which is 21 raised to 5 times 7. 21 raised to 5 times 7 is exactly what we have here. These two, are, these two are equal. Again, this is a very easy question. The next one I'm going to put on the blackboard is not an easy problem. If it appears, if something like that appears in the problem, in the exam, it will not qualify as an easy question. I want you to do it yourself. Here's the next one. I want you to do it yourself first. Pause the video and do it yourself. Here's the next one. In the first column we are given 2 raised to 22. And we are being asked to compare that with 2 raised to 24 minus 2 raised to 23 over 2. I'll give you 5 seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video and then we'll do it together. Alright, here we go. 2 raised to 24 minus 2 raised to 23 over 2. The first thing, the first thing we need to do is somehow get rid of this denominator here, the two at the bottom there, because it's annoying. We can get rid of this two from the bottom by multiplying both columns by two. Multiply this column by two and multiply this column by two. As long as we multiply both columns by the same number, same positive number, we're not changing anything. So now this two goes away. This two is going to cancel out with that two, and here we end up with two times two raised to twenty-two, two raised to twenty-two, two raised to one which is same as 2 raised to 23. 
And on this side, we end up with 2 raised to 24. 2 raised to 24 minus minus 2 raised to 23. Okay, this is where the things are going to get prickly, so pay attention. I'm going to write it a little bit lower so it lines up. This is where things are going to get prickly, as I said. Okay, here we have 2 raised to 23. Here we have 2 raised to 23. Let's bring this 2 raised to 23 on this side so that we can compare this, this part by, by itself. Let's add, how do we bring it to this side? Well, let's add 2 raised to 23 to both columns, which is perfectly legitimate. As long as we add or subtract same numbers from both columns, we're not changing anything. This is very straightforward. Negative 2 raised to 23 and positive 2 raised to 23, of course, they're going to cancel each other. That was, that was the whole bloody point. So here, all we're left with is 2 raised to 24. And here we have 2 raised to 23 plus 2 raised to 23, 2 raised to 23, some quantity, let's call it A, A plus A, if we call this thing A, A plus A, it's going to be 2 times A, it's just going to be 2 times A, 2 times 2 raised to 23. And of course 2 times 2 raised to 23 is same as 2 raised to 1 times 2 raised to 23, and 2 raised to 1 times 2 raised to 23 is same as 2 raised to 24, is equal. The answer again is C. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.